So, Bob, as I always ask you before these debates, why this one and why now? Uh, well, the reason why now is because the theme of uh, taxes and tax policy has been uh, a very divisive uh, theme throughout the presidential campaign and the presidential debates, and we're trying to bring this to a uh, perhaps more sophisticated level here tonight. And this, this motion has a tricky word, enough. What, what do we intend by putting the word enough into this motion? Well, I, I thought really that there would be three criteria by which one might uh, decide that. One is the matter of fairness, one is efficiency, and one is sufficiency. Okay, take us through fairness, what it means for each side. Well, for the pro the motion side, fairness would be the point of view of somebody in the top 1% who's paying 40% of all the taxes in America, or the top 5%, which is paying 60% they're going to see the system as fair. Uh, on the other hand, if you work for a billionaire who's paying a lower tax rate than you are, you're not going to see it as fair. And sufficiency? Sufficiency really means, are we raising enough revenues uh, to put the government on a fiscal path that makes some sense? And I think the uh, pro the motion side is going to point to the fact that uh, uh, it's really spending that's the problem. We're spending about 24% of GNP on uh, federal expenditures. The norm in the last 20 years has been about 21%, and we've got to get spending under control. The other side is going to say, wait a second, tax collections are only about 16% uh, about of GNP compared to 19%. We need to raise more money. And if uh, we remember the words of Willie Sutton, go where the money is. And efficiency was the last part of it you mentioned. Well, efficiency is the idea of promoting economic growth. What kind of tax system would best uh, stimulate the growth in the economy? And I think the pro-motion side is going to argue that uh, uh, it's very, very important to preserve the incentives that the rich, quote unquote, have to risk money, to invest, to create jobs for others. The against the motion side is probably going to point to the fact that a dollar in the hands of a middle class family is going to be spent and in a direct way stimulate economic activity, whereas a dollar extra in the hands of a rich person might just sit there. All right, Bob, thanks very much. And that slicing the word enough, slicing that salami love has a lot of meanings, and thank you for framing this for us. And uh, let's welcome our debaters to the stage. Good. I'll take that.